next we are going to see the next indicator of bad design that we are going to see is updation anomalies updation anomalies okay what is an anomaly anomaly is a problem okay anomaly is a problem so now let's suppose in this above schema okay if i have to create a new department okay i am saying my entire schema is comprised of only this relation okay so i just have this relation so now i want to store information about a new department which is coming up okay and as of now there is no guy working in this working in this department okay let's suppose my department is quality control i have suddenly realized that my product should have good quality and i have decided to create a new department of quality control now in my table which is this one let's say i just copy it back copy now in this table if i have to add a new department what i would do i would say my new department let's give it an id as 13 okay the department name is quality control i would like it as qual quant okay and let's say it is in san jose okay so i have added the information of my new department but there is no guy working on this so i would have null over here 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 as well and i would have null over here as well okay but just realize that in this above schema employee id is going to be the primary key okay because i am storing information about employee and what are his email his cell number what what is the id of his manager and what are his departmental details okay so my primary key is employee id but here i am storing null in my table so that is a problem i cannot insert information about a new department until i have at least one guy working in that department okay so that is an updation anomaly okay however just realize in the this decomposed schema that we have in this decomposed schema i could have easily since this is a separate table i could have easily added my new department like this quality control san jose right and my department id would have been my primary key so this was my i call this anomaly insertion anomaly so this was my insertion anomaly okay okay i have three anomalies over here i just write it down it is insertion anomaly then i have deletion anomaly and i have modification anomaly okay so right now i just covered the concept of insertion anomaly okay now i am going to tell you what is a deletion anomaly so deletion anomaly okay 
So I'll just copy it back again and here let's suppose my Joe guy leaves the research department okay this Joe is out of the research department he has shifted to another company okay so what do I have in my table right now I have information regarding Jimmy and Jimmy is the Jimmy is the only guy left in research okay so now what happens is the research department really sucks and even Jimmy wants to go out he wants to go to another company so what do we do Jimmy has now gone out and we take this tuple off this table okay I delete this tuple as well okay so I am going to delete the, delete the Jimmy guy okay now just realize what has happened over here now I have lost all the information regarding the research department I don't know where the research department was okay I don't have any values regarding that it was in Santa Clara I don't know what was the employee ID or sorry what was the department ID of research department so as soon as I as soon as I delete the last guy from a particular department I stand to lose every information regarding that particular department so this is an anomaly while in this particular set of relations just realize I could have easily deleted Jimmy and then I could have deleted Joe but my research tuple in the department table still would have been there I still would have been able to realize that research department had department ID 12 and was located at Santa Clara so that is the concept of deletion anomaly